What's up guys, David Wants at 797 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to watch a movie uh, or file from a USB or hard drive on the Telstra TV. Now as a quick update at the start of this video I did want to say I've actually removed the smart screen protector that I did in my previous video. The reason being I was having some trouble with the top corners of the screen not working when you actually tapped up there. Uh, the buttons down the bottom definitely worked but up the top and it was mainly just an experiment to see whether a $3 screen protector like that, those things actually worked. They do, and it's really cool. Uh, the only thing is, I'm completely used to an iPhone and kept tapping up there, and it would not register my press, as you can see in this video. Uh, if you were using a Samsung butt, it would be definitely perfect, because the buttons down here seem to always work. They worked better than actually touching the screen up there. Anyway, moving forward. Uh, so, playing a video on the Telstra TV. Um, we'll jump straight into it and uh, this is what we need to do. So the next step guys on your PC or Mac is to jump into your web browser and just visit this website. Now this website is basically what this video is about. It explains exactly how to do what I'm going to show you how to do. Uh, the main reason I want to show you this website is it also tells us what video formats are compatible with the Telstra TV. Now there's four formats, .mkv, .mp4, .mov and .wmv. Uh, these four formats are sort of the main ones of the Mac PC uh, area. Now, typically, as long as your video is one of those formats, it's going to work from the USB on the Telstra TV. So, the main reason I want to show this is those formats. There are formats for music and photos, of course, but we mainly want to focus on videos uh, for this video. So, the next step, once we get to Telstra TV, is you do have to install an app on the Telstra TV that uh, is free to download through the Telstra TV if you haven't already got it. But we'll do that on the next step when we're at the Telstra TV. Firstly, what we need to do is we just have a USB plugged into this computer. Um, mine's called Carbon because it looks like carbon fiber and I like to give them uh, some interesting names. Now, on this USB, it needs to be formatted to FAT32. Um, the best way to check that your USB is formatted to this, this is typically the default for most USBs of FAT32. The downside to FAT32 though is that uh, you can't in move a file that is bigger than four gigabytes. So it must be a smaller movie. Uh, if you are doing doing something like uh, on a Windows PC, you can go for NTFS and that, fi that format uh, will be read by the Telstra TV. Now on a Mac, NTFS can't be, can be read, but it can't be copied to. So it does get a little bit complicated with a Mac. Um, in my case, I'd never really have movies that large. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty fine too. And you can do some compression and stuff if you really need to. Now, uh, your movie, as I said, needs to be MP4, MKV, or one of those four file types. The main way to tell this, as you can see on my video here, the file extension name is .mp4. Now, if that's not showing up on your computer, uh, on a Mac, you can right click and go get info, and you'll see the name plus the extension, uh, .mp4. On a PC, I believe you get that by right clicking, going to properties somewhere in the right click menu, and then you'll get a little window explaining the properties. Now, like I said, if this is not FAT32, formatting might need, need to be done to your USB through a Mac. You do that through the disk utility, simply by finding the USB you're talking about, going erase, choosing from the dropdown FAT, the MS-DOS FAT, as it is called, or FAT32, and uh, formatting that to FAT32. On a PC, you do this by right-clicking and going to format. Uh, you can probably Google that and get more help if you need it. Once that is done, you then just need to follow the complicated step of copy and paste or drag and drop the file or movie documentary as I've got here onto the USB. Now you can see I've already done that and I've got the, U the documentary sitting on the USB right here. And that's pretty much it for the step on the uh, computer. Obviously if you had a hard drive or something like that, you could copy a bunch of TV shows or something across, like if you want maybe want to watch a whole season of Game of Thrones or something, copy the whole season across, and then you can plug the hard drive into the uh, Telstra TV and watch it through that. Um, this For this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to use a USB because I just want to show one file. Now, if your file is not MKV, uh, MP4, MOV, or WMV, such as it could be AVI, uh, for example, that's another common format uh, for PCs, uh, you can use some um, conversion software to convert them to these files. I use Handbrake on uh, the Mac. I'm not too sure of many uh, video converters on the PC. There's hundreds of uh, free ones out there. If you just Google free video converter, I'm sure you'll find one. The main thing to watch out for, just make sure they don't throw a watermark smack bang in like the middle of the screen. That gets really annoying. Uh, I haven't used PCs for a very long time, so I don't know of any at the moment. Uh, and then, but for... 
for the sake of this, like for the Telstra TV, I haven't had to use Handbrake to convert a video because 90% of the time the videos are these formats. The main reason I have Handbrake is because I have an Apple TV in my main living room and the Apple TV links up with iTunes and iTunes only supports MP4 and MOV or MOV. Uh, MKV and WMV are mainly uh, PC based uh, file formats. So if I get a movie or a documentary and it's an MKV, I do need to convert it to an MP4. So that's when I use Handbrake to convert it to an MP4 file and then it works nice and perfectly in iTunes for me. And then I can watch that through my Apple TV on the big living room TV. This TV is however, a smaller bedroom TV. So now that we've copied that to the carbon USB, the next step for us is to go to the Telstra TV and I'll show you how to set that bit up. Okay guys, so the next step of course is just to turn on your TV, your Telstra TV and to plug the USB into the Telstra TV. Now on the main screen of your Telstra TV, you can go in and have a quick look and just see the main app we need to use is Roku Media Player. You can see that they're highlighted just above the Stan app. If you do not have this app, all you need to do is go down to the apps section on the left hand side. Uh, this will then load all the apps on your Telstra TV. Uh, you'll see a tick if you do have that app. Just scroll down and then you will see uh, Roku Media Player as one of the apps. Now mine already has this because I've done this previously, so mine has a tick. Now if you don't have this, uh, go to app will actually say uh, get app, I think, uh, or add app, there you go. So uh, you then add the app, that will then download the Roku Media Player app. Now, from the main screen, of course, what we then go to is go to that Roku Media Player app. That will then load up like this. And from here, we'll see video, audio, photo, and help. Now, of course, we want to we watch a video, so we're going to go on a video. Carbon USB drive. So there's the USB that I've plugged in that we had on the PC, on the Mac. Jump into this. Now, because I had that folder called Stuff, that shows up. We've then got the video of the Grand Prix, uh, the Killer Years documentary. So if I tap OK on this, and then I go, I have watched this previously, I can go play from beginning page. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy watching, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share the video. Um, you can find me over on Twitter at Wanted797 and Instagram Wanted797. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.